It's the rock man back to rehash these bench press standings from the end of February. And I think Greatest Lifter Alive did an awesome job with all these videos. And I have no arguments with the placings. But there have been some developments in this lift that need addressed. And that's why I'm making my own totally subjective list <laughs> uh, based on everybody's latest lifts to kind of gauge where they're at. Uh, starting with Greatest Lifter Alive's 401 pound bench press. Because he is the first guy to hit the four plate mark whose name isn't Dylan McConnell. And that's pretty huge. Now, this is Dylan's 410 pause press from maybe two weeks ago. Close grip. And I feel like these two lifts are similar enough that we can compare them directly to get kind of a metric on where these guys are at strength wise. And just to me, it looks like it's potentially a lot closer than Dylan would like, which gives me some joy <laughs> to see somebody closing in a little bit on his uncatchable bench press. So, uh, I got to put Jesse Weissong in third place because this bench press that he had in early February was just fucking rock solid. And... For his body weight to be pushing 340 like this is ridiculous. And I know we're not supposed to be taking that into account, but just look how fucking strict this is, man. And this dude has crazy ability to grind. Speaking of which, West Side Boy making the best of his equipment at the house, doing a floor press. Looks like it's touching his chest, too. Look at the fucking close grip on that. I have absolutely no idea how this dude can press it like that. But there it is, and I would say that definitely gives him a 335 to 350, if not more, um, on the bench press if he can grind it out. But we'll just have to see when he gets access to some equipment. Speaking of which, we haven't really heard much from Darsness since the gym started closing down stateside, so I hope he's got some kind of way to get his training in. Maintain them gains. A guy I'm really glad to put back on this list, the Doc, randomly did a 130 bench press the other day after he did three doubles with 265. Maybe one of them was a triple. But just based on the way the weights were moving for him, uh, I would say he found a decent groove with it. And... I think that 300, if he got the right timing, is definitely possible. So, that's pretty awesome. Like I said, there's been a lot of activity on this lift in the last week or two. And I'm going to go ahead and throw Garage Workouts lift in here. I know he's some, doing some kind of dumbass push-up thing with trips, but just go out, man. Visit the bench. Twice a week. Do your rep work. It won't be that bad. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. It's starting to get nice outside, for Christ's sake. Shit only takes like half an hour. And then... Uh, Pike. Who I have definitely seen put brake rotors and shit on the bar for weights in the gym. Has taken his act outside to do some serious strongman shit. And I don't know about y'all, but that tire looks pretty fucking heavy to me. He did... 265 for five just this week in the gym and I feel pretty comfortable saying that he's got a 300 pound bench press even during his cut so I'll go over there and check out his channel he's got some interesting lifts going on right now and then this was my bench press from today It's off a one inch board, so I guess it really doesn't count, but uh, it's been a long time since I had this kind of weight in my hands on the bench press. December, so let's go ahead and just compare the two lifts. I would say, yeah, it definitely moved better this time. It just seems like a good time to make one of these videos. Everybody who made this list has proven themselves to be a warrior of iron. You've passed the first trial, but many still remain. The second will be one of maintaining your gains without your fucking box gym. How dedicated are you?
can you find a way to make it happen? Or are you going to have to go over to Big Trip's channel and join his fucking push-up challenge? <laughs> Hope you're training strong. And as always, thanks for watching.